Hey, what's good YouTube? Antayami here, back with another video, and today we have this extreme great cool deck. This deck definitely has four engines in it, and I don't know how it all fits in the pile, and this is not even a 60 card deck, or 50 card deck, or whatever. It's actually 43. And technically it could be 40, but for some reason, I've been liking the number 43 a lot. For some reason, it works out with the ratios of the bricks, which we'll go over shortly. And I don't know, but I just been on the ladder, um, clapping people with the deck and it's actually really insane. And this deck has ton of synergy, which we'll go over in just a second. But this deck is very weird. I feel like I might be the only person that will ever play this ever. Yeah, feel free to try it out. It's very fun. It's very complicated. So there's a lot of tons of lines. It's not a real combo deck, but it has like really crazy lines and stuff. So yeah, let me go ahead and go over the list and it might be a longer video. I have no idea because it's going to probably be a lot of explanations for it. But if you guys have been following some of my deck profiles, this is one of my favorite decks was Sky Striker Eldridge. Then the DPE package came out in one set, which changed this deck's power level immensely. And then now all of a sudden we have another engine that came out, which boosts this deck up again, which is phenomenal. It's a really, really, really crazy engine. Um, so guys, just go, go ahead and give you guys a forewarning. Um, I'm proxying most of these cards. <laughs> So I just have the Griffin Wing and I have the Draco back, but I don't have the actual expensive cards. So we're going to use expensive cards to, I'm not trying to show, we're actually using expensive spellbook cards to just kind of show you that I can get it. And it is coming, um, it's being shipped at the moment, but um, I don't have it in time for this video. I'm just, I kind of want to do a, a deck profile showing them um, pretty much like my day one build for this deck. All right, guys, without further ado, Let's hop in. So, starting off with the Sky Striker engine, and we'll be going through each of the decks per engine. So, uh, hopefully, it just be a lot cleaner in this in this, I guess, presentation. So, we have Triple Ray, Double Rose. I thought about maybe putting Rose to one in this build. Maybe once we get the new Sky Striker card, maybe I might try to put her to one to see. But I do like her at two. You see her just enough. Um, and there's a lot of combos that helps you get into the other engines, which uh, again, I think towards the end of the video, I may go over how each of the engines can kind of interact with each other to help boost each other up and kind of flesh each other out, out the deck. But that's it for the Spell Striker or Sky Striker monsters. And then we have Going into the spells, we have triple Widow Anchor. I mean, obviously, one Shark Cannon, one Engage, one Afterburners, one Ad Drones, and then, of course, Rota, because Rota is basically a Sky Striker card. Um, you kind of want to open Rota, and it puts a spell in the graveyard for you, and you can either open up with the um, Ray or the Rose. So that's really, really good. And that's pretty much it for the Sky Striker package in the main deck. I'm um, going on to the next engine. We have Eldridge, and pretty sure this was the this is the only engine that doesn't really change as much. Um, it's pretty much the standard. I play only one Lord, um, Triple Scarlet, Triple Conk, and Double Hikaru. So, um, yeah, th this has pretty much been standard. I probably never would change this this lineup because it's just, I feel like it works the best if you play it correctly it'll play it out it just plays really well um as far as golden lore I think a lot of people are going to ask me why they only play one one this deck already plays a good number of bricks in the deck and I will say that this deck has like 50 I think half the decks are like almost starters and the other half are kind of like engine slash like kind of like brick cards so I haven't really drew a hand where I open up like three bricks because some of the bricks are kind of like 1.5 bricks. But yeah, I'll get into more of that once we get through the profile. I'm um, going into the next engine. This one's really tiny. The DPE engine, um, nothing to be said. I am playing the um, the newer banlist. So two double fusions or um, fusion destinies. And then we have the two bricks. So, yep, hate to draw the bricks, but 
Phaging Destiny 2. Interesting. Now, coming up to the newest package here, and I'll probably have a picture so you guys can see the actual cards. But um, we have three Aquamancers. Basically, if you guys don't know what the Brave engine does, or I guess the Adventure engine, um, the Aquamancers are a level three spellcaster water type monster. If you can banish, you can banish this card from the hand or the graveyard out on the field, just hand or graveyard um, to special summon or search out a, a right, which are going to be these guys, just kind of like proxies for now. And I'll shoot rights up so you guys can see it. So you search out rights and basically what rights does is gives you a token and then it has a negative effect where you cannot activate normal summon monsters to turn you to place the token if it gets negated you can still you know normal summon activate the effect but the only card that technically activates the effect on normal summon is ray and you don't even need to do that so it doesn't really come up um like that but be wary that you can't like activate the token and don't some array and go for like damage like that. You have to like link off Ray and then push like that. So you can't just go token, Ray, Ray's effect, token, yeah. So just keep that in mind. Um, also, if you control a brave token or a venture token, you can special summon the water uh, Aquamancer from the hand onto the field. And she's also a 15 attack beater, which is really, really, really cool. Um, and you can make some sick plays with her as well. But that's pretty much what she is main for. She's mainly for searching out the spell car, which gives you the tokens. Um, Griffin. Griffin is basically your Omni Negate. You can special summon this card from your hand if you control no monsters on board or if you control the token. And if you have the token while your opponent activates a monster effect, spell, or trap, you can shove this card back into your deck and negate it and destroy it um draco back draco back is really insane uh, i if you guys are playing this engine i recommend you play draco back draco back is insane it's a card that can help you go second very well and it has a really cool effect with the next card i'm going to talk about which is not quinglong we're not playing virtual worlds but um we are playing journeys i think it's called journeys journey of destiny journey of destiny and this is a continuous spell card. Basically, once per turn, you can search a monster that has like the dream text on it or the adventure text and then discard a card. So that's really good with your Eldritch package and sometimes your Sky Strikers because you can basically recycle them back out the graveyard and it puts spells in the grave as well. And um, whatever you normal or special summon, not even you, but your opponent, you can actually search out the equip spell, which is the Draco back. Which you only play one of so once you resolve it it is what it is and yeah i think that's all it does i'm trying to think off the top of my head if i'm missing anything but that's basically what it's mainly used for oh also yeah that's what it is too if you have this and the equip card both on the field if you if you're on it your opponent decides to attack your the monster that has the equip on it which normally is probably your um vanilla token but you can equip it to other monsters as well it protects it from battle once per turn, which comes up. Um, yeah, so very cool. Um, moving into the flex cards, or kind of like the staples of the deck. I play triple strike, double ice dragon prison, and triple forbidden droplets. Uh, these cards can be cut. Like you can, you can take out like three of these, and boom, it's forty or you know whatever but um these are universal like you can make it whatever you want basically uh i went with this ratio because strikes are just really good going first and second um this is also really good going first and second but it really depends on the matchup like the eldritch match this is like really really good um this is also really good versus like sky strikers and stuff like that not like the best but you can like manipulate plays and stuff like that um, there's a lot of tech and stuff like that. I think I'll explain more in details um, Some of the choices later on maybe not in this video, but maybe in a different video. Maybe I'll, I'll kind of like drop more of the nuggets, but 
I like those ratios and I love droplets. I play droplets in, in like every deck. So I think droplets is actually broken. Um, moving on to the extra deck. We have Verte Anaconda and we have Destroy Phoenix Enforcer because obviously we, we played the package. Um, Access Code Talker, Nightmare Unicorn, Linus. This card's so good. I love this card. Um, Link Spider, Triple Kagari, Double Shizuku, Double Hayate, One Kaina, and One Zeke. Wrapping up for the extra deck here. Um, I think I, I know I definitely said that I was going to talk about the deck in more of a detail, but I think that's not going to really make it into this video. If you guys want me to explain like combos, um, different interactions, like how the decks all intertwine with each other, because it really does. Uh, I can get into more details like that and kind of show off like maybe some test hands and things of that nature. Um, and maybe show off some replays, maybe you know walk through some processes of some of the replays i have so yeah guys i think with that that's gonna wrap it up for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys made it this far i do appreciate you guys and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace